So this uh, mock-up was created to sort of show another part of the circuit. When we turn the switch here, the power switch, you can see both the motors spin in this direction. They're pulling power from the battery and uh, it's flowing through the motors causing it to spin this way. So you can see that the ground wire from the battery here is connected to the blue wire which goes to the motors and then that goes to a switch and that's connected back to um, the, uh, the positive side on, on the battery here. So that's causing the motors to spin in this direction when they're wired like that. Notice the positive wire here is tied off. We don't need the positive wire because we're using this yellow wire uh, to connect to the batteries. And we just need this one battery to power these two motors because one battery is 1.5 volts and that's enough to get the motors to turn. And so we're gonna use this battery to make the motors turn backwards. So you can see when we turn it on, the motors spin backwards. Now in this configuration, what we've done is we've created a mock-up again, and we want to be able to make the motors again spin forward and backwards, so this, this setup, the motors are spinning forwards. So you can see they're going like this, they're going forward, and the battery is on the other side, and we're connected to the positive wire instead of the negative wire. And again, the negative wire is being um, taken care of because this wire is coming through here. So what we've done is we've changed the orientation of the battery, and so the power is flowing the other direction, causing the motors to go forward. So if you reverse the flow of electricity, you can change the direction of the motor movement. 